Does telling facts make a story more interesting? Let's find out. Okay, I was originally going to do this video to share with you guys how I came up with the name Ruckus IIV and roughly around when I did that. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I don't like telling facts all the time because sometimes I think that it's not as relevant. But in this case, because it's within a timeline and a certain year, maybe it's a little bit better to paint the picture by giving some facts about the time and see if that makes it a little bit more interesting before I explain where the name Ruckus IIV came from. So, first, it all started in 1998, 20 years ago from this video. I was 16 years old. That's a whole bunch of facts right there. Okay, but now, see, hold on. We gotta set, we gotta set the setting. <clears throat> okay. So the year was 1998, and in the United States at the time, there was not really much excitement going on, except for the fact that, well, I don't know, Bill Clinton, who was the president at the time, denied having sexual relations with his intern in the White House, known as Monica Lewinsky. That was a big deal. So as far as pop culture in 1998, movies were, mm, they were okay. One of the biggest blockbuster hits, though, was definitely Titanic. I mean, that thing set records for years. And then, of course, Saving Private Ryan came out, and There's Something About Mary. It was also the year that the Furbies came out for the first time. And in case you guys were wondering what a Furby is, I'm just going to say go look it up because those things were weird. I didn't understand that. I never, I never understood the Furby thing. Now, as far as video games in 1998, one of the biggest video games that came out was a huge deal was The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. That was a huge deal for that year because it was the first time we ever got a chance to see Zelda in 3D. It was just, there was just too much going on. It was just like mind blown. We, way too much for us, for us to handle and it was great. On top of that, Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation came out. That game was definitely a groundbreaking game for its time because during that time we didn't have games with good storytelling like that. That game was an epic story from beginning to end. As far as music goes, there was a couple songs that were pretty good during that time. Still Not a Player by Big Pun was out. That was a big deal. As well as Gimme Some Mo by the mighty Busta Rhymes. Another big thing that was going on in 1998 was the internet. It wasn't as big as it is now. So the only way most of us could get on the internet at the time was to have a computer, and with that computer came a dial-up connection. Now what I mean by dial-up is a little tiny, tiny wire that connected to the phone port in the house. And by connecting through phone connection, we were able to access the internet. The only difference is compared to now, and you had way much longer load times than what you guys got now. Like, we got it made now, but back then, woo! You had to sit and wait for the load screen on AOL. See, here's the thing. I got AOL, and most people signed onto the internet through a service called America Online. Now, America Online was revolutionary at the time because it was the first program that you could pay for and have access to chat rooms, web browsing, and instant messaging. Instant Messenger was actually one of the biggest revolutionary things, I think, for its time because it gave us direct contact with people instantaneously. Like, we could immediately communicate with somebody kind of like a text message. That's where a lot of the LOL, LMAO, that's where that started, was all through America Online. So we got a computer, we got the internet, and I was given the opportunity to start an account with America Online, and I needed to have a screen name to set the account. So I decided to look up names for Ruckus, because I love Ruckus, the name. So I got into AOL, and then I'm gonna have Ruckus on here, it's gonna be amazing. Now the only problem was, it was like 15 billion Ruckuses on there. So I was like, okay, let me see if I can get creative. Let me try Ruckus 7 because I love the number seven. So of course, that was taken. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna try Ruckus Yo Mama. So there was like so many different ruckuses out there. I was like, man, well, I don't even know if it was worth making that. You guys ever have that struggle where you're trying to create a new name for something, you get excited about it because it's something that you attach to based on your personality or whatever you want your personality to be like or come across to people. And it's just taken by so many different variations of that. It's kind of like your creative world is just shot 
at that point, at least for me. I don't know about you guys, but for me, that's what it feels like. I tried to get more creative and I said, okay, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the name Ruckus and I'm gonna take the number seven, I'm gonna do it as a Roman numeral. I don't think anybody's taking that. So I said, okay, I got in there, I typed in Ruckus IIV. I set up my account, made it final, and that was it. Now, one thing you guys gotta know, when you sign an account with America Online and your screen name is set as the master account, that's it. You're locked in, no way out. You can't go back. You have better be sure that's what you want. I was set. I was ready to go. I had ruckus, I, I, I was ready. And about 10 minutes into a chat room, I realized that IIV was not the number seven. And a matter of fact, I also realized that it wasn't even a number. Now I did create this IIV thing and I thought, okay, I'm stuck, there's nothing I can do, so I'll just have to write it out. I decided I'm just gonna go ahead, and start getting into these conversations and doing stuff in the chat room. But the more people started to look at my screen name, the more people started to all of a sudden fight over what IIV meant. I just sat there and watched people argue over what that meant. And there was people saying, no, that's the number seven. Other people were like, because at first glance, you think seven. But when you look at it again, it's like, wait a minute, that's not seven. So other people were saying the same thing. They're like, that's not the number seven. That's something else. That's a three. And other people are like, no, no, that's math. And that's not a mathematical problem. You, you're not subtracting two from five. It started a huge fight. And I sat there thinking to myself, well, that's ironic. The name literally created a ruckus in chat rooms right off the bat. Not intentional. Then the only reason why I came up with the name Ruckus is because I knew that I was going to go in there and create a ruckus because that's what I like to do. But the name stuck and I was happy with the fact that after a while people actually said that they liked the name as well because it was different. It was something that actually stood out. When you saw the name pop up, it was something that just stuck in your head. I had people tell me, they would eye at me, like, man, there's something about that name that just sticks in your head. And sometimes I thought maybe it's because of the way I'm interacting. Either way, it was something that stuck and I stayed with it, and I used that mistake as something that was worth telling a story later on, and so here we are. So that was the name that I came up with in 1998, and that was a big deal to me, and because it was my first screen name on the internet, I decided when I created this YouTube channel, why not go back to the original screen name that I created when I first got on the internet? Why not just keep that persona on here. So that's who I am. I am Ruckus IIV here on YouTube. But before I end this video, I want to ask you guys a question. If you grew up in 1998 and there were things that popped out at you that you remembered, whether it's pop culture or not, things that you just remember that you think maybe other people might know about or not, put it in the comment section below. I don't care if you have to look it up or whatever. If it's something you remember, can you comment below? Tell me a little bit about what you went through in 1998 because I grew up at that time and I'm curious to see what you guys were going through around that same time. And I also want to know from those of you who watched this video, if whether or not the details that I gave, those facts, made the story any better. Yes or no? Which do you think? Comment in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you're more than welcome to. I don't like to push that because I hate plugging it all the time. If you do subscribe and you want to get updates when I upload another video, just hit the little bell button so that way you'll get the notification. Other than that, anybody who's subscribed recently, I just want to say thank you very much. And if you guys want to watch any more of my videos, you're welcome to my channel. Just click on the video option and just scroll right through and see if you find something. And if you like something, by all means, just keep watching. And don't ever hesitate to leave me a comment. I will do the best I can to comment back with you guys. Okay, you guys want to see something cool? You guys want to see like the ultimate outro? Ha! That's what the hat was for. Not really, but see you guys.